leading Cam is 4-3 to three at the end of two periods. We'll be back with the second period summary right after this. Preserving and protecting the nation's water supply and finding alternative forms of energy have never been more crucial to our way of life and the environment. Innovative ways of reclaiming and reusing wastewater are part of regular sustainable building practices. Rainwater harvesting for domestic use is becoming more common. Heating and cooling systems are being developed using solar heat and groundwater. Who will build these systems for making America less dependent on foreign oil and reduce our carbon footprint? Today's plumbers and steam fitters, trained here in Oregon at Local 290. Where do you find them? Call the Portland McKinney. Send it back to us as soon as you can. We're back here. Memorial Coliseum. Pandemonium has ensued, Andy. Yep. Bosch got in uh, for a conversation with the Winterhawks backup goaltender Keith Hamilton as they were coming off the ice. And both teams now off the benches in the corner, in the Zamboni corner where the Hawks come off the ice. Both goaltenders in a fight. Seth Swenson right now fighting with J.C. LaPon. It is madness here. Morrow got involved for Portland. Bosch and Caruth both got involved. Bosch went down. He's got a cut on the forehead. Ranford's out. Ranford Swenson's, was, Swenson's got a bloody nose. Ranford was the one who went with Morrow, so Ranford's been escorted to the locker room. Winterhawks at their own locker room. Ryan Johansson comes back out of the locker room. He has a baseball cap on. He was already in there. He needs to get off the ice. Everybody needs to get off the ice as there was a big brawl here. Looked like three separate fights occurred, including both netminders, both starting goaltenders fighting as Caruth and Bosch got involved. The referee and linesman trying to sort things out. Travis Green on the ice. The coaching staffs are on the ice trying to be involved. Bosch came over and confronted the Portland players as they were going to the locker room. It was Keith 